What's up guys? Welcome back. Next up on the turntable is this Hot Wheels 1967 Dodge Charger. This is going to be my entry for the Deep Junk Garage Shop Race Car Challenge. I've uh, had the intentions of doing an old muscle car in a race car style for quite a while now. So, uh, definitely going to give a go at this challenge. I think it's going to come out nice with everything I've got planned out for it so far. Quite frankly, I'm not too impressed with the uh, paint and uh, tampos that it has on it now. So anyway, yeah, this will be my entry for that. Give it my best and uh, I'll be back around shortly with some more footage of the build. Once I get to that point. Alright, hang tight. And this is where I am with the charger. Got the body stripped down. It's in really good shape. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of pitting or crazy casting lines that I need to get rid of. Just going to hit it with a wire brush and make sure, if necessary, I, I will do what needs to be done. The interior, I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to leave it black. Just wash it really good. Um, same as the base. I think I'm just going to stay with chrome. I may take that chrome off and let that black come through. I'm not 100% sure yet. I will be doing a wheel swap on it. Putting some rubber racing tires on it. The, uh, Back glasses pretty pitted up. I'm gonna have to see what I can do about that. I'm not sure how good I'm gonna be able to make this look, but uh, should be able to make it look a little bit better than that. We'll see. Um, I guess that's it for now. Hang tight. Well, this is where I ended up. Personally, I am very happy with it. I think it came out amazing. I really do enjoy doing these race cars. You know... Some of my earlier customs, I was doing some of the, uh, like, Baja-style type buggies and stuff. And I've still got one that I've had hanging around for a while that I've been meaning to to do as well. But, uh, you know, anyway, I just, I really enjoy doing these race cars and the Baja buggies and stuff like that. But, yeah, this was for the, uh... Deep Jump Garage Shop Race Car Challenge. And I decided to go with the uh, Marlboro logos because when I was growing up and watching racing, everything was pretty much cigarettes. You know, all the uh, sponsors were cigarettes, so big. Big Tobacco had a monopoly on that for quite some time. So it just kind of reminds me of growing up and watching what little bit of NASCAR I did. Even though the car is not quite from my era. Yeah, I think it came out absolutely beautiful. You can 
can see that back glass came out really good. I got almost all of that pitting out of it and got it cleaned up really well. Very happy about that. Wasn't quite sure I was going to get that much of it out, but uh, I did. It looks pretty good. As you can see, it's got the decals everywhere, giving it that race car appearance. All the sponsors. It's got my custom channel logos on it, of course, as always. Coming around on the back here, you'll see this cruise control. I'm gonna we'll say that'll be my sponsor. From my garage as always I put the cruise up above the driver's side door absolutely dig this big shout out to deep jump garage for issuing this challenge and letting me be a part of it love 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 this build Got a nice set of rubber racing tires on that bad boy. All the chrome on the car was in excellent shape. So I left it chrome, the bumpers and the grill. I thought about blacking some of it out, but very pleased with leaving it the way it was. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this one up and get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you like it as much as I do. Thanks again to Deep Junk Garage. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.